Today we're gonna to be doing some meal prepping for breakfast. These are some recipes that are super wholesome, they're really easy, you can make them ahead of time. That way it's just gonna take a couple of minutes to whip together breakfast in the morning. The full breakdown to all of the recipes we're gonna be making today can be found on the blog, so I'll leave those links for you in the description box. Remember that our recipes always come in both metric and imperial measurements, so that way everyone can use them. And we also always provide a PDF with our recipes. That way it's really easy for you to refer to when you're cooking in the kitchen. And I wanna take a brief moment to thank Wix for partnering with us on today's video. They are the incredible platform that we use to create and to host the Pickup Limes website. I'll chat more about them at the end, but for now, let's dive into those recipes. We're starting with the savory recipe first, the samosa sweet potato breakfast wraps with a tofu scramble. First up, we're gonna peel and chop two large or three smaller sized sweet potatoes and cut them into one centimeter cubes. Then we're gonna steam it or boil it in a pot for about 15 minutes or until they're cooked through. Meanwhile, we're gonna chop one red onion and add this to a pan on medium heat with a teaspoon of coconut oil. And we're gonna cook it until it's lightly golden, adding a splash of water as needed to deglaze the pan. Then we're gonna crumble a block of medium or firm tofu into the pan with our hands and add a teaspoon each of turmeric powder, nutritional yeast and garlic powder and a little sprinkle of salt and pepper. Then give it a stir and cook it for about three to five minutes. Then we can remove it from the heat and add it to a bowl. We'll return the pan to the heat and add a bit more oil and by now the potatoes should be done cooking so we're gonna drain it and add it to the pan, stirring and mashing for a couple minutes before adding a quarter cup of fresh or frozen peas and half a teaspoon each of ground cumin, ground coriander, turmeric powder, dried fenugreek leaves and a pinch of salt and pepper. All of these spices are optional so just use whichever ones you have on hand and give it a stir, cook it for a couple minutes and then remove it from the heat as well. The final ingredient we need to prep for this are just to thinly slice some bell peppers. And when you're ready to enjoy your wrap, just add the tofu scramble and the sweet potato mix to the wrap, along with the sliced bell peppers and some avocado. And if you like it spicy, some sriracha hot sauce. Or you can also add some spinach or greens, whatever you'd like. The wrap can be assembled the night before and heated in the microwave in the morning for a quick grab and go breakfast. Just be sure to add the avocados fresh after it's been heated. And with any extras, just store it in the fridge in airtight containers to enjoy as breakfast or even lunch for the days that follow. Next up, we're gonna be making these vibrant frozen yogurt breakfast bars. First, we're gonna stew a cup of frozen berries on the stove or in a microwave until it's completely soft and cooked through, then set it aside to cool. And to a food processor, we're gonna add a cup of soft dates with the pits removed, blending it until it's smooth, and then we're gonna add two cups of rolled oats, a quarter cup of ground flax seeds, and a cup of almond butter or any other nut butter that you'd like, and a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. Then blend it all up, stopping to scrape down the sides as needed, until everything is well combined. We're then gonna transfer this mixture to a parchment lined baking dish and evenly distribute it along the base. And using our hands, we're gonna press the mixture down as firmly as possible. And you can also use the back of a spoon to make sure it's as densely packed as you can make it. Then we're gonna pour on top one and a half cups of plant-based yogurt, spread it out evenly, and then dot the yogurt with the stewed berries and use a knife or a fork to create these beautiful swirls in the yogurt. When you're all done, you're gonna pop it in the freezer for a couple of hours or until it's solid enough that you can cut it. And when you remove it from the freezer, let it sit for a couple minutes so you can easily remove it from the dish. Then cut it up into squares or bars of whatever size you think you might like. This recipe requires no preparation in the morning. It's just grab and go. And in fact, it's even better if you do let it sit and thaw for about five minutes first so that the yogurt softens a bit. It makes for a lighter and cooler breakfast for these spring and summer months. You can store these bars in an airtight container in the freezer with some parchment paper to keep them separated and just grab it to go whenever you're pressed for time. The final recipe is one of my absolute favorites. You've heard me refer to this one in a few videos before, but I've never showed you how to make it in a video. So by popular request, here it is. Probably the healthiest and most delicious granola you'll ever make. 
We're gonna begin by adding three cups of rolled oats to a large bowl, and then we're gonna coarsely chop one cup of any nuts in any combination that you'd like. Here I used almond and cashews, but pecans and hazelnuts are also incredible. We'll add this to the bowl along with half of a cup of raisins and a quarter cup each of dried cranberries, pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds, unsweetened shredded coconut, and half a teaspoon of cinnamon and a pinch of salt. Moving our way over to a food processor, we're gonna add a cup of soft dates with the pits removed, half a cup of tahini, and three tablespoons of water. Then we're gonna blend it until it's smooth and creamy, and if you don't have a food processor, you can just mash the dates with a fork instead. We're then I'm gonna add this to the bowl and give the whole thing a mix with a spoon or you can use your hands until it's thoroughly combined. And then spread the mixture onto a baking tray, spreading it out evenly and pressing it down a bit. Then bake it in the oven at 150 Celsius or 300 Fahrenheit for about 30 minutes, stopping once to give it a flip. The more you do mix this, the less clusters there's going to be. So just keep that in mind. And we're then gonna pop it back into the oven until it's lightly golden. When you do take it out, let it cool completely before adding it to an airtight jar for storage. This granola can be stored for about two to three weeks, but I can almost guarantee you're gonna finish it much sooner than that. When you're ready to serve it for breakfast, just add it to a bowl with whatever fruits you like and pour over some plant milk for a super wholesome breakfast cereal. Alternatively, you could add it to a bowl with some plant-based yogurt and some stewed berries or use fresh berries. It's perfect to enjoy at home or take with you on the go. You can always use the granola to top smoothie bowls with. The options are really endless with this one. It takes just a couple minutes to whip together breakfast when you've made it ahead of time. And it's something to feel really good about too. It's a granola made with whole food ingredients and no added sugars or oils. I hope you enjoy these breakfasts that we've shared today. And if you do get a chance to make any of them, be sure to tag us on Instagram so that we can see. Again, full breakdown to the recipes can be found on the blog. Those links are in the description box below. And while you're at our website anyway, take a look around and see what you think. I actually created the whole Pickup Limes website myself, believe it or not, even though I have zero experience in web development or coding or design. But with Wix, you need no experience at all in order to create yourself a very professional looking site. I always recommend it to anybody who's been interested in creating their own blog or online store because it's really really easy you can just use some of their designer templates customize it however you'd like and the best part is it's completely free to try for an unlimited amount of time so if you've ever been interested in creating your own online presence and you don't know where to begin I do recommend Wix I'll leave their link for you in the description box as well I think that's it for today thanks a lot for watching if you enjoyed today's video you can always show your love and support by hitting that thumbs up button and if you'd like to see any other kind of recipe videos if you have any requests for us share that in the comments below. I'll see you guys down there. Pickup Limes signing off and we'll see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.